Well, Nell, two goals then this evening. How did that feel then to to double and then extend your tally? Uh, no, it's it's amazing uh, to be able to contribute with two goals for the team. I feel very happy. Uh, I've taken big inspiration from Edin Dzeko, so uh, I don't know. It's uh, it just feels amazing to score and amazing to have a clean sheet and uh, to have three points. And uh, uh, the way we played made the atmosphere great. And uh, when you have a great atmosphere, it's you just enjoy yourself. So Edin Dzeko is the inspiration. <laughs> what happened? Why? I don't know, because I've been watching him as, uh, as a kid and he's always been my idol and he's always been scoring goals. But I'm a defender, so I'm not used to that. But I've got to get used to it now when I play here. <laughs> Let's be honest, you don't always think you're a defender, you think you're a winger, maybe centre forward next on the list at some stage. I mean, after today, I think I'm a centre forward. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, well, for understandable reasons, he's he's a big hero of yours, is he? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, I'm lucky to play with him and uh, uh, he's, he's a great character, very professional and humble guy, which I which I try to be as well. And uh, it's, just, it's just amazing to have an idol, mentor like that. Uh, interesting, because I was going to ask about that then. So, yeah, mentor, have you sought advice about how to go about things? Look, you play in different positions, but same game. Yeah, of course. Every time we play with the national team, it always comes with advice. It always comes with a calmness. There is no stress. There is no... And the way he brings calmness into me is I try to bring it to other players as well. So it just gives a pos positive uh, domino effect, I think it's called. Why, why do you think you've been able to adapt to how things are at Sheffield United so quickly? Because, well, look, lots of good players go places and it doesn't work for them for whatever reason. Why do you think you've settled in so smoothly? Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, big, big reason I came here was uh, because of Heki. Uh, he gave me a perfect presentation of how he's going to use me and how he thinks uh, I should improve. And every point of the presentation he made to me in January, it's been spot on, and uh, all the things I've <laughs> I've had to improve, uh, it's been uh, it's been really good. And uh, yesterday, uh, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say, but we worked on throw-ins because <laughs> I never used to take throw-ins in my life. And uh, yeah, we worked on throw-ins yesterday and today. My throw-ins were a little bit better, and uh, nah, it's been it's been amazing since my time here. I've been really enjoying it. You've, you'll obviously work for different coaches at the different clubs you've, you've played at. It, it, how is it then in comparison? Has anybody been that kind of on you and, and forensic with your game until now? I mean, it's different with every coach. Uh, every coach uh, has, uh, has his, has his uh, different uh, ways of approaching you. Uh, so far, I've, I've had uh, only positive experiences and uh, stood. It's, it's different. It's different every time, but uh, the only thing I can say is I really, really enjoy it here and uh, I think you can see on the pitch. Yeah. We well, obviously played in Sweden and France. What, what are the, the main differences that you're getting used to with English football? It's the tempo and uh, the fitness. I think uh, today I've been running up and down like a, like a rabbit. I don't know, like a, I don't know. And uh, it's, it's been very tough, but uh, I think it was one game I think it was Sunderland at home. Uh, I went down on my knees and Heki screamed at me, fucking get up, don't show you're tired. And uh, after that, I never showed I'm tired. And yeah, I, it's maybe, I don't know, cliche to say, but body language makes, makes, makes a big, big difference. And uh, it's one of the things I've improved also. So what did it mean to you then, having scored twice, that even when you're sort of near to the touchline and the halfway line, the crowd are going shoot because they, they want you to get a hat trick? I mean, I'm sure you're quite good at finishing, but <laughs> I think I got too excited, and uh, I haven't really worked since I last came here. I said I was going to work with Jack Lester on uh, on uh, shooting drills, but I haven't worked. But this week I'm going to tell him I have to work on shooting because I get in those chances. Uh, so, back to the top of the league, early days of course, but what does that mean to you as a group that you are at the top? I think we have the quality and uh, this team spirit to, to go all the way. Of course it's early, but uh, the, most, the, the most dangerous op opponent we have is ourselves. If we don't have the um, attitude every game, if you don't see every game as a big game, then we won't go up. Simple as that. If you see every game as a big game, then gonna be, we're going to be fine. I think we're going to get promoted. Good luck.